Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you for waiting for me. The few people that saw him, man, I appreciate it. Just running a few minutes behind, getting set up and all that. Um, <clears throat> all right, just waiting for a few more people to, you know what I mean, get on and we get this party started. You know, um, for those who don't know, I'm Nasser. AKA the real estate guru, not a guru. I'm a guru because I actually do this business. So what I was thinking, right? Um, I'm just going to do a Q and a, you know, um, okay. All right. We got Connecticut in the house. Um, just doing, um, uh, a Q and a, um, cause I'm not doing any local meetups right now due to the COVID situation. And I, I don't feel comfortable doing them. I know people are having gatherings, but you know, I don't want to be responsible for anybody being sick or anything like that. So, yes, so we'll be meeting here um, probably every Thursday or so. Um, and, you know, I'll keep you guys informed, but you can always go to my Instagram, Real Estate Guru. So, yes, but thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Let's get this party started. <clears throat> All right, let's get some questions in, folks. Hold on, just scare some. Oh, we got Lancaster, South Carolina in the house. Denise, what's going on? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Getting this party started. Uh, Chris, what up, bro? All right, <clears throat> first question's in. Oh, Atlanta, always in the house. Best way to sell your wholesale deal to maximize profit. One time showing the highest and best. Okay. Uh, you can, that's a good method. What are you saying? What's, what's the best way to maximize? You get everybody in at one time. So it has a fear amongst the buyers. So people are putting in their offers fast, full price or over full price. Um, highest or, and then you tell people highest and best. That's one way. Some people call it the eBay effect. Me personally, I don't do that. Um, whatever I sell the house for, whoever meets my price, they can have it. If I give somebody my word I'm gonna sell the house, they can have it. So, but if you want to maximize your profit, that is a, a great way to do it. I don't do that. Um, I'm a buyer as well, and I get pissed if somebody would do that to me. If you're selling the house for 120, and I say right, I give you 120. Um, I don't even need to see it. Get in. Let's lock it up. Oh, I want to wait and get everybody. Right, man, look, I ain't got time for that. So, yes. All right, <sighs> see. Yo, player, what do you think about pre foreclosures right now? Target or not, they keep pushing them. Just push to October in Arizona. Arizona pre foreclosures will always be a a good list and a great list to do subject to, so you can pick up some rentals. But pre foreclosure will always be a good list. Because some of those people in the pre foreclosure list are ready to be realistic that they have to sell the house. And um, some people are in situations where they can't go to the retail market. So you have to get creative. The reason why they can't go to the retail market, because they might need $15,000 worth of work. They owe 147. The property is worth 150. So that happens, unfortunately. So, yes, that's it's still a great list and great strategy. What's the best time of day to send an RVM text message? Anytime during the day. I shut down my stuff the latest 7 p.m. Um, sometimes, rarely I go to 8, but like during the business hours is the best time to get RVM. Now, cold call is different. Cold call, I would say that the best time is that afternoon. You know, that 4 to 6 slot, that I, I like that uh, when cold calling. Let's see. Let's see. Have you heard the REI reply? No, I have not. <clears throat> I'm 17. How do I make money wholesaling? Man, that's a great question, bro. I have a book, um, Wholesaling, um, Flipping Houses Like Burgers, but I have a whole series on YouTube, right? It's... Um, it's, it's a whole series on YouTube on how to get your first deal. If you go to my YouTube channel, Real Estate Guru, and the play, and uh, you look at my playlist, you'll see it. Um, it's specifically for beginners, man. First thing first, congratulations for getting this so early. Um, 
my, you know, if you want to make money, just start pounding. I don't know if you have a car um, yet um, or what state you're in, but because um, I know, like, down here where I'm at, like, in North Carolina, you can be 16 to get your license. And, and uh, where I'm from in Jersey, you had to be uh, 17. And I believe they give you, they give you a restricted license now until you're, like, 18. But anyway, um, you know, if you can't drive for dollars, walk for dollars. But definitely stick to this. You can do it. Um, I have a whole series on how to make money wholesome. But basically what you're doing is you're looking for motivated sellers. What's the NC market looking like? I ain't done a virtual deal out there in a minute. Chris, uh, Chris all right. Well, basically, I'm going to tell you like this, man. I mean, Charlotte, the retail market is still on fire. In Charlotte, retail market is still on fire. Stuff is still flying off. You know, interest rates are still low. So that's how it's looking in Charlotte. I don't know about the old NC, but Charlotte, bro, is still on fire. So I don't know how much longer we got this, but um, I do think that <laughs> you <laughs> it's a game of <clears throat> musical chairs right now. So, yes. But Charlotte is hot. What steps are you taking different compared to 08? I'm, I'm being skeptical about what I'm buying and selling. I'm not getting no big rehabs right now. Uh, no big rehabs at all. So um, not doing any building right now. I'm just being very skeptical about what I take on and what I want. So, um, yeah. Prop stream or deal machine? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Currently, I use both, right? So I can't say one's better than the other right now because I just got into, I just, uh, I know that prop stream launched the app. I got to, you know, use it a little bit more. But right now, I don't have an answer for that. I do use both of them. Um, if you guys want a seven free, seven day free trial for PropStream, go to durudata.com, uh, durudata.com. You can get your seven day free trial. With that seven day free trial, you can try out that app to make sure you like it and it's only up and up. If you want to do the deal machine, driving for dollars. And if you, um, you also get a free trial if you go to, DuruDriving.com. You get a free trial, so yo, yeah, make sure y'all check this out. Definitely, definitely. The eviction list is the move right now if you're looking for a check next week. The eviction list is very hot right now. You have a lot of motivated landlords who um, are trying to sell or want to sell. So that is a hot list and will always be a hot list. New to Charlotte, what areas should I keep my eye on? I can't really say, bro. The whole Charlotte hot. Whole, like, people be saying that, like, yo, what areas should I focus on? Man, the whole Charlotte went up. The whole Charlotte's going up. I mean, my property is worth more now than it was pre-COVID. As crazy as that seems. So it's only a few grand more, but it's like, because it was some higher sales in the neighborhood, but it's like, yo, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say, man. I mean, like, the, the whole Charlotte hot is the whole Charlotte's on fire. Matter of fact, the whole county, whole Mecklenburg County is growing, even the Oscars. So you know, anything you can get on a good deal, you need to, you need to keep. How do I get eviction list in North Carolina? Um, <clears throat> ooh. That's a difficult one, but I got a solution. DuruCourtHouseList.com. You go to DuruCourtHouseList.com, you sign up, and you can get the eviction list here in any county in North Carolina. So, um, yes, um, that's how you do that. So, that's how you do that. What phone system are you using for making calls? I keep hearing about DialPad. I'm still on Ring Central. Um, <clears throat> use one that you feel comfortable with. Just use one that you feel comfortable with. My man Chris said, you can virtually drive for dollars, Google Maps, find deals for sure. It's more effective to me personally. So um, I'm assuming, you know, he can, um, he's talking about prop stream app. So yeah, my man Chris, no, he out there getting it. 
I don't have any thoughts on it yet, Dwight. Commercial properties to wholesale or not to wholesale? I mean, if you're in a position to keep a good deal, then you should keep a good deal. If you're in a position to keep a good deal. Should you wholesale a commercial property? Yeah. I mean, you can wholesale anything. Like, there are guys, right? I believe that the title was business brokers or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't you do not, I, I believe you do not need a, a license, just like wholesale. You don't need a license. But they look for struggling businesses um, and assign them to the end investor who's going to fix that property up and sell them for, as a profit, right? I remember um, I was in Chicago. The guy said he had a company that looked for struggling businesses that owned the real estate, okay? Struggling businesses that owned the real estate. He, he used to be an attorney. He got into this, uh, struggling businesses that owned the real estate. He would buy the business in the real estate. And from him buying the business in the real estate, they would get it operating and then sell it at like a 10% cap rate to an investor and cash out. They got so big that they got bought out by um, a bigger company. So they got so big and, you know, uh, but yeah, you, you can wholesale anything. So it's just about like if I wholesale this commercial property and make 75000 is that a good is that a good deal, you know, for me? You know, I mean, you gotta ask yourself that. Of course, for me personally, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's a great deal. But if I can line up the money and hold this property for 10 years, I can make seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So, you know, it's just one of those situations. Um you, you gotta you look at for you. I don't want to go back to work. What are some things you suggest to fast track? What steps should I take? I have a series, right, on YouTube um, for beginners. I recommend you use focusing on driving for dollars. It's really effective right now. Um, you know, extremely effective to do your first wholesale deal. That's how I got my first wholesale deal. So um, I strongly recommend that for you to do that. So you can do driving for dollars to focus on that um, to put you, set yourself up for success. Or you can buy an eviction list if you have the money for it. So let's see. Uh, what's it? <coughs> Where do you source your contracts from? A lawyer or generic template? I got my contracts um, from somebody. Um, Years ago, if you want my contract, realestateduru.com, you opt in. You can get my free contracts at realestateduru.com. You can get my free contracts. Or if you want, um, you can go to my Facebook group, Wholesaling with the Duru, and the um, Wholesaling with the Duru in the uh, Facebook, uh, in the file section, you will find my contracts. So, um, um you can get them either one. But if you can get them from another investor or so, I don't recommend the newbie going to an attorney to get a to go pay this guy for a contract where you could call up another investor and ask for the contract. Of course, some not all investors will give you their contract. Some are gonna to try to charge you for that, for just a contract. But I give you mine for free. So don't even worry about it. Do you prefer to call potential sellers and knock on their doors or have that work for you? Hey, Vince, what's going on, bro? Um, I mean, I'll do either, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I call, you know, I, I haven't door knocking in a while, man, to be honest with you. I haven't done that, so I, you might as well say I like calling better. You know, you can fill them out. Okay. Okay, somebody said they can't find the prop stream app. You can go to the app store on your phone and you know download. You put it in prop stream, you know, uh it should come up. All right, so the eviction list, I don't believe list source sells that. List source does not sell that. You can get that from Duru Courthouse list for the um eviction list. That's a good question right here. 
Okay, it's a great question. One second, guys. Okay, so that's a great question. All right, military. Yo, you should do virtual wholesaling. You should really do virtual wholesaling, man. Um, I know a guy that was in the military. He was stationed in a military town. And as you know, Antonio, when you get those military orders, if you own your own home, whatever the case may be, you got to go. And he would do a lot of subject twos and use that um, and, and rent them out because he had a process in place. So even if he got called, property management was still handling, handling it and he was getting the rental income. So um, you should definitely do deals. You can do them virtually, um, wholesaling, or if you're in the military town, you know, you can do a uh, subject too. So depending on where you're stationed at. And if anything, man, try to maximize your income while you're in there to save it, use your loan to buy some investment properties. and. Buy when I say buying investment properties, buying them in like a situation. Let's say you use your VA loan, whatever the case may be. Um, like, all right, I'm gonna live in this. However, what I'm gonna do is if they call me, I know my numbers are so good on this property that I can't rent it out. So I'm good either way. So you know, just um think about that too. But in order to find a good deal. You're going to have to get on the ground and find it yourself by using the techniques that we use. Let's see. Let's see, let's go to the next question. Do the Dewey website, you would probably only apply to NC list. Can you go over that again? DuruCourtHouseList.com, right? And DuruCourtHouseList.com, what you can do is, it is, it's North Carolina and Georgia for sure. But you can uh, con go to the contact them and she will let you know um, which states she can operate in. But yes, the eviction list is a little harder to get. However, let me say this, the harder the list to get, the um, more money you could potentially make because everybody's not going after the hard list. Man, that's a good question, bro. Um, as far as REI skip, um, I believe they automatically do it. I believe it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can get that answer. I believe they automatically. I, I, I skip trades multiple ways, but I believe they automatically uh, do it. Do you cloud titles at the courthouse? Ace, hey, great question. On properties, once you get a contract on them. All right, people. When he's saying like, all right. So what you can do, once you get a contract, you can file a memorandum against the property so that the person can't sell. I do not do that on every property. I do not. Okay. I've been doing this business full time since September of 2012. I filed maybe, including today, literally filed one today, bro. I literally filed one today, including today. Uh, let's say let's say include today maybe seven properties include today I got paid off of one you have attorneys that will close over them because they know that the wholesaler is bluffing and probably not going to pursue legal action so I closed on, um, I, I'm sorry, I recorded on one today. I've um, got paid once from one, right? My whole career, I got paid once. That property I got paid once from is, um, let's see, let me tell you the story. So it was this crazy lady in the hot zip, and we had the contract, had it sold, um, and she had, some type of credit card. The son was on drugs and she maxed out credit cards for him. She had like a credit card lien 
who a credit card judgment against her, and the credit card judgment wouldn't send anything on paper. It was it was terrible. So then she um when we finally got an attorney who said, look, this is what I can do to fix the issue, she didn't want to sell anymore. So we recorded. Over the years, it took like maybe like two or three years later, I got paid off that. Um two or three years later, she sold um she tried, she listed the property on the MLS. And the realtor knew me, so the realtor reached out and asked, what's going on with this? Told them everything. I, I gave her um, due diligence money. And when she canceled the deal on me, she said, oh, don't worry, I'll pay you back. Like, just brush me off. I end up, she ended up paying me off. Like, I was going to make like 15 grand on that, on a wholesale deal, right? So I mean, she ended up, uh, we ended up selling them for like 7500 But that was like the only time I get paid from them. Majority of the time, you won't get paid on recording them. Um, but I got paid 7500 off that deal, which felt uh, really good. This other guy, he played me out. Uh, we had, like, I do it when somebody just disrespectfully played me. You know, like, if you sign a contract with me, I got all the work and everything done. You say, y'all want to sell and just disregard my calls. So I'm I'm, I'm going to record at that moment. Like, you just played me. This guy recorded on today. Let me tell you how he did me. The second time around, we had the contract. The first time around, he had like a big judgment for like $200,000. We couldn't get it resolved. He just stopped answering emails. He came back around saying like, yo, um, y'all still want to buy this property? I got two for you. I was like, man, we're dealing with COVID. Um, what do you want? I can't pay this so much. And what about the the, um, the judgment? Oh, I, I don't know if it's on this property. So we end up, he gave me a good deal on two properties. $120,000 for two properties in Charlotte. $60,000 properties in Charlotte don't exist. So I'm like, I right, yeah, I could definitely do this. I can rock with this. So he gives me the um, the two properties, right? The attorney looks at it and said, nah, the judgment's still there. He said, yo, I'm going to work on it, resolve it, and we get it closed. Perfect. So he he got everything resolved this month, right? The attorney looked at it again and said, all right, you got the big judgment resolved, but you still got $13,000 from the city of Nata. He like, nah, I sold like 20 properties last year. I got those paid off. He was like, well, just give me proof and we can remove for it. He's like, all right. He comes back like, yo, I got the hub statement from one of the other properties. And... In a separate email, he hit me up and said, hey, I sold one of the properties that I was going to give you for 70 but I'll give you the other one, too, for 70 if you want it. And I, right, this is the second time I'm going through it with this guy. So I said, no, 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 we're not doing that. I said, you was working on the issues. You, you signed the contract. I said, you know what? We're going to handle some court. So he emailed me a few times, and um, I said, yo, I'm not paying a higher price. And I want the other property. So he was saying, nah, I can't do it. And so I recorded on him earlier today. So now when they do the title search and that property comes back, they're going to see that and he can't sell it. So, um, yeah, so that's that's what I, I only do it in me personally. Some guys, they'll just do it whatever. You know what I mean? You got to do it when you feel comfortable with it. I don't think you have to do do it every different every single time. Just do it when you feel um, comfortable with. So, therefore, man, um, you know, be at your own discretion. If a seller, me, if I feel like a seller played me, like took my money and um, three or five hundred dollars, and now nah, I'm recording, I'm going to get that. So, you know, I, I won't let them do that. Or if I'm doing the work and they pull out the last minute, like how you, where we signed the contract, man. You know what? Right, I got something for you. So, yeah. For wholesalers, should I find leads first, then scramble to build a book of uh, buyers or build a book, then find? Right now, you, you can go find motivated sellers and get it under contract and then try to sell them right now. That's the way right now. That's what I would recommend right now. Okay? That's what I would recommend right now. So um, focus on that. Do that for an hour or two a day. You should have 50 to 100 contact leads. If you don't get a deal, that will pay you bill. That is correct, man. Yeah, Chris is right. Yeah, you drive for dollars. Um, 
I went to a day shop, 5,200. Yeah. Bro, when I started driving for dollars, right, I used to stay out there for like two, three hours. You know, I come back with 100 plus addresses, okay? Now jokers come drive for dollars. They be out there like three hours or, no, 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 I'm sorry. They go out there for 30 minutes to come back with two addresses. It's like, yo, what are you doing? So, yeah, man, you just got to work, man. You know what I mean? Got, this business is hard work. Okay, let me check, dude. Somebody said, dude. All right, hold on. All right, so apparently DuruCoreOffices.com is not working. Guys, check back with me. I will get that fixed. Um, sorry, I, I know I found the problem. Let's see. All right, yep, got, definitely got to get that fixed, guys. Sorry about that. We are working on the DuruCoreOffices. We'll get that fixed. If you could give me about three days, it will be fixed. So, yes. We only get with Tyler Company and attorney after we get a contract locked up, the seller, and cash buy. Yes, that is correct. Yes, that is correct. That's what you do. So, um, uh, I I get with the contract. I get with, now, North Carolina, we use attorneys. So, after I get everything, that's when I, you know, uh, give it to the attorney. I've been having trouble actually getting motivated leads. Do more of leads come from people already at a reasonable price, or do you usually have to talk sellers down a bunch? Um, I mean, you're going to have to do some negotiations. Yeah, that's the business that you're in. Sales, marketing, negotiations. You're, you're, that's what you're just going to do. Everybody, some leads are going to be laid down leads, but not all of them, okay? Not all of them at all. Some of you will have to do negotiations. So that's why you want to go through a lot of leads. Right now, I'm not doing probate, to be honest with you. Right now, I'm not doing probate, but that's a great lesson. Do you have a, a script for SMS code testing for sale? I don't. I don't have a script for that. Uh, you can basically open up dialogue and not try to sound spammy. And the reason why I probably wouldn't give out a, a script for that for free because a lot of the carriers are blocking um, text, so if everybody's sending the same stuff. What happens? It doesn't go through. So I do not have a script for that. Hey, Deanna. Okay, thank you for joining us. Um, if you, right now, DuruCourtHouseList.com is is down. I'm gonna get, get that fixed. Um, you're watching this video live. It's not gonna work. If you're watching the video a week from now. Please go to DuruCourtHouseList.com. So if you go to Law Clerk on Demand, right? Law Clerk on Demand should do your eviction list. Make sure you type in the code Real Estate Duru. You'll get 10% off your order. Got to use the code Real Estate Duru. You use that code Real Estate Duru, you get 10% off your order. Um, That's the promo code. If you don't use the code, then what will happen is you won't get 10% off, okay? So if I were you, I would go get the 10% off. You can do the eviction list, okay? You can reach out to Law Clerk on Demand, and she has the eviction list in North Carolina, in Georgia, and you can reach out to her for all the other states as well. How much money should one save for taxes after a wholesale deal? What I do, everybody's different, depending on how much I make. If, I sell, if it's a home run deal, 20 or more, I'm going to put up 30% for um, taxes. If it's a um, base hit, I do 15%. So yeah, man, that's um, that's what I do. So, but absolutely correct. You have to um save for taxes. Hey, Marcus, another thing. What I do, bro, I got for my wholesaling operation. I got um operation account. Um, operation. Uh, a tax account and a profit account. So each deal. Break that money up. So at the end of the year with taxes, I'm not scrambling, looking stupid, can't pay my taxes. Got to pay that tax bill, bro. 
That would be current on taxes. Um, you all right? I'm not doing virtual, but if you're doing virtual, do you have someone you trust or no? Go look at the property or have seller take um, uh, picks. Okay, you can do either one, right? But there are um, there are websites um, that will go out there and take pictures for you, and um, you can pay them to do it. I don't know the websites off back because I don't do virtual wholesaling, but there are websites that will do that for you. Should I reach out to local lenders and other authorities to get a list? What is the best method to post them for email? Kyle, what type of list are we talking about? Uh, you can you can go to durudata.com. Uh, let me make sure that's working, guys. One second. Durudata.com is working perfectly. So you can go to durudata.com um, and you can pull up a list. Um, 10,000 leads are free. Uh, you can pull it for free. So, okay. Um, you can get a, a, a list for sellers. Okay. You can get, um, you can get buyers. So yes, and all. So, um, durudata.com. How much you need to get started or do you have something for beginners? Thank you. All right. My YouTube channel. I have a playlist. Host of beginners, getting that first deal. My Facebook group. I can answer your questions there. Um, please do not DM me or message me. Um, but yeah, I can answer your questions in my Facebook group. But how much you need, you don't need much money. You do need to sacrifice a lot of time and put a lot of effort into finding that first deal. Depends on how close you can have them take the send. I sent a set of pics of other properties and wholesale so they can see. Right. <clears throat> that, bro. Thank you, Chris. All right. So if you're virtual wholesale, you have the sellers take pics. What Chris is saying, what he does, he will send pics that he already has to the seller to inform them how they how he needs his pics. Okay? So like the guys who work for me and look at properties, I trained them on how to take pics. Hey, step back. Okay, you get the whole kitchen like this. All right, make sure you get the HVAC on every property. Make sure you take a picture of the HVAC unit. You know, you're highly experienced um, rehabbers and landlords. They can buy them just off looking at those pictures and say, "Ah, right, yeah, we I need to get it. Let's just do the deal." As long as the numbers work, of course. I don't, man. I somebody asked, "Do you have a favorite Tony Robbins um, book?" I don't. I am. I, I do like his stuff. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a favorite. I did go to his seminar, the one where you you walk over the eight hundred degree uh, fires and all that. I did go to that one. Uh, man, he keep that junk cold, bro. That room be cold as hell. Um, I I man, I got sick in that joint. That shit was so cold, bro. I mean, I I mean that's woo. Cold stuff in there, so yeah. But um, I I I can listen to his videos, man. I probably won't be going to more seminars. Too cold for me, bro. Cause he got he keep you up and to do this machine. The first day he ain't even used the bathroom, son. Like he trained his body, cause as you know, Tony Robbins he mastered. He tries to master every aspect of life, and uh, he trains his body, whereas he doesn't have to use the bathroom, bro. So um. The first day, he just go on and on and on and on. Man, I was so hungry. Um, after that, after that first day, I was so hungry and so worn out. Man, it was intense. It was intense. So yeah. How to sell a property with significant links? Um, if you're selling, if you got a property for seventy five thousand and you got links for two hundred thousand dollars, depending on the link, can you get those negotiated? Whereas the seller is happy with paying them off uh, or taking the payment plan. Um, you know, it just depends on the lien or the judgment, okay? It, it all depends. So, for example, I had a house for $150 before, right? The guy had a $250,000 IRS lien. The IRS told him, said, um, 
the IRS told them, say, yo, we're not going to let you sell these uh, these uh, uh, properties and walk away with money. We want the whole thing. And he was collecting rental income. So as any logical person would do, what? Hey, bro, I'm not going to give you my house for free. Um, no, I'm going to just rent it out and collect the rental income. So, you know, I can't be mad. This all depends. Hey, no doubt, bro. No doubt, man. I appreciate the love. Chris, dropping jewels again, helping your boy out, man. All right, Chris. Okay. Thank you for helping me, first thing first. So the person who asked about the um, taking pics virtually, um, Chris, bro, matter of fact, we, I'm going to have to get you on. You're going to have to work on getting – I'm going to inbox you hopefully this weekend. We might have to get you on next Thursday, and we're going to talk about your virtual um, wholesaling business because you dropped a lot of jewels in the comments. So wholesalers may not move on your leads in a timely fashion. So that's a toss-up. Best thing to go to Craigslist, labor gig section, make an ad for $50 for 50 pics in the video of the property. Pay them via Cash App once the pics have been verified. Problem solved. How do you suggest to get one to three deals a month? How much to spend on marketing? You don't have to spend a lot these days, man. You can spend, you know, 3000 a month with RVM. The cost of RVM is cheap. Texting is cheap. You know, cold calling is not that expensive if you're doing it yourself. So, I mean, <clears throat> spend three to $4,000, and that's the, the bulk of your cost is going to be on list. That's the bulk of your cost, just having the data. No doubt, man. No doubt. My man Chris said, Craigslist is best to me because they don't know shit about real estate and the chances of them snaking the deal is minimal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. So he's differentiating the difference, you know. you Because some people, I've hired some people try to hire another wholesaler and they get snaked at the deal. I know people that happen to, especially virtually. So, yeah, you definitely want to be careful. Any must reads my book, Flipping Houses Like Burgers. Um, other than that, man, <clears throat> practical knowledge is the best knowledge. Find some pa um, podcasts to listen to. Max Maxwell's Bigger Pockets podcast. Um, you know, um, it's, 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 man, thousands of them to choose from. My man, this podcast, HOC. Uh, can't think of the name right now, but yeah, man. Um, definitely. Definitely want to listen to some podcasts and read. Man, Kyle, next time let a brother know, man, so I get that joint fixed. Next time that my link, you know, I'm going to get my links fixed as, uh, uh, hopefully as um, soon as possible. I've been occupied. I'm moving my residence. Okay, guys, it's coming up at 845. I'm going to cut it short tonight. So I got about a few more questions I'm going to tackle all this here. And, uh, yeah. What's the way the price we have for M A M A R O? Um, I mean – Get a know how much your property need, right? So right now I was looking at a house as of yesterday in the dark, right? I I I was thinking about rehabbing it, but I'm like, man, I don't want no big jobs. And the lady, nice lady, got the electricity on. Yesterday I thought it was a sixty thousand dollar project. Today, if you penny pinch that house, it's about eighty thousand dollars because she had got the electricity fixed, and it's an eighty thousand dollar job. Um, one contractor quoted her 100, which is about right, um, to get that house where it needs to sell and sell fast. So, um, you just have to um, have, know your construction numbers. Um, if you're you know making an offer for the rehab, you want to know your construction numbers. I have an idea. You know, if you're wholesaling, you don't have to know construction, you just need to get the deal low and be able to sell it. Bro, Yusuf, I'm glad you brought this up, bro. That is, oh, man, a great statement. My man Yusuf said, have you noticed a trend of out-of-state wholesalers putting any and everything under contract with impossible numbers? 
I have, I have, and they try to JV with me all the time. Hey, I same same thing in here, bro. I say I tell them though, like, yeah, nah, that deal ain't gonna work. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't gonna work, bro. So, I mean, one tried to tell me, man, you don't think maybe a landlord because it's, it's near downtown. The, the numbers made no sense, bro. I don't know why a landlord will buy a property for two hundred seventy thousand dollars that's going to rent for. Let's say it was fixed up in tip top condition. I right, it'll rent for like sixteen hundred. Alright, but they're gonna buy it for two hundred and seventy thousand dollars and hope the price go up, right? All right? So yes, but I have noticed that. But I think what they do, right, from it's like you get twenty houses under contract and then they close ten. And they let the other ten go, you know, just go. But yes, that is the name of the game right now. And they kind of mess it up for guys like me and you who know, like, bro, that's not a deal. It doesn't make no sense. That's a retail deal. You should have told them that, yo, I just listen to the realtor, and they can get you that. I tell people to listen to the realtor all the time. If I, if the house is worth 350000 they say, look, I want $330,000. Hey, man, you know what? You should listen to the realtor. I'm not your best fit. Especially if they say, yo, there's nothing wrong with the house. Oh, there's nothing wrong with us. Hey, nothing wrong with it? Hey, what I'm here for? You know, hey, man, you might as well listen. You know, and, and and get as much as you can. You know, now if they listen, they don't sell it. Yeah, I follow up with them like every three months if they really gonna list. And that has happened, right? Whereas a seller lists for retail, but their property, all right, let's say a house worth three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. But the house itself for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars are all nice and updated, right? And the seller has it the last time the seller lived in the property since 2000. That was the last time they updated. Well, they go on the market and put it up over 350. And no, you don't get that. You're not going to get that because that person get an update out for 250. So there's a sit and sit and sit and they get more realistic. So, um, but yes, Yusuf definitely happens all the time. I am going to jump out there and find motivated sellers after I get them on the contract with due diligence period. What's some good ideas? Finding good terms and buyers. Talk to another investor that's already doing it in your town. Say, hey, man, what attorney do you guys use? What title company do you guys use? You know, and that's the easiest way. That's, that's what I did when I got started. Find another investor. Hey, what attorney do you use? What title you? Now, of course, not everybody's friendly. Not everybody wants to talk. But fine. You know, I mean, some people are, you know, assholes. I get it. Some people are assholes. It is what it is, right? So um, some people, but I, I remember this guy told me, so many people told me he was going to help me. Call, I call them. They don't pick up the phone intentionally, right? So I call them like three times. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. And I move on with my life. I didn't, I didn't give up due to that. But that's how you find attorneys, just talking to people. Um, if you don't like, if you don't know any of the investors, you can Google real estate attorneys. But you, when you're Googling real estate attorneys in your town or real estate title companies in your town, you want to ask them. You want to say, hey, do you guys do assignments and double closes? Um, they might, oh, let me put you through the attorney. And, hey, do you do assignments and double closes? If they tell you no, then um, you know that's not the office for you. They say, yeah, we do those. Well, all right, thank you. And you know that's the office for you. So, yes, as far as buyers, buyers, um, if you're in a major city, you know, they're everywhere. Um, Facebook Marketplace is one way if you have no buyers list. Um, I don't necessarily like that way, but that's one way. Facebook Marketplace, I'm not going to tell you to meet up or meet anybody right now because of the COVID stuff. So um, prop stream, pulling cash transactions, right? Uh, people who bought stuff in that area and um, either skip tracing them, calling them, or mailing them. It's more work, but it's worth it to get real cash buyers because some people are going to pose as buyers, be wholesalers. Some people are going to just be tire kickers. It's wasting time. So, yeah. Yo, Chris, thank you, bro. I do the same thing here, lo and I'm local. I, I his, his house is, I don't go on the appointment, right? And I'll send the buyer to the appointment. <laughs> like, hey, bro, I got an appointment. Look at this house, bro. It's in your area. You go on an appointment, and yes, 
I do the same thing. But like Chris said, after a while, you can just send to the buyer on the appointment because they are the ones making the final decision to deal. That is so true. After a while, you build relationships. Okay, so you build, after I build a relationship with a guy, I know he's not going to do no BS. I send him to the deal. Like, yeah, just, hey, go look at it. I, I do that. You know, I do that. Now, if somebody knew I don't know, nah, I probably wouldn't do it. What's the um, what's the value of a home you should get to do a no cash wholesale? Computer? I'm lost at the question. I mean, you always want to be in lower. Ideally, you want to be if the the property worth 100, you want to be 70. So you want to be 70 percent all in as an investor. You know, so yes. On the topic of taxes, do you just pay IRS or find a way to invest your tax money to make capital? Um, I pay the IRS. I pay the IRS, me personally. So some people, they do it. Some of these guys you think successful have big IRS bills are not paying the IRS bills. It was this one guy, extremely successful, and IRS took all his money, um, and he had to go get a job. Now he's back successful again, but yeah, I, me personally, I, um, I, I, I pay my taxes, bro. I don't play around with the IRS. So I have a payroll company. I use a payroll company so I can pay my quarterly taxes and payroll taxes. And I pay federal taxes and state taxes. So um, Natalie Kalaji, um, she's on my, I interviewed her multiple times. You can reach out to her. She's uh, taking on new clients and all that. So yeah, but I, uh -uh. I um, pay my taxes, bro. I don't play with the IRS money. You know, I used to, and I learned that I ain't the business. You know what I mean? So yeah, I, I what I used to do, do my taxes, I get my bill, bill be 30, 40, 50, 60, I go do a rehab, pay them off, okay? And I don't do that no more. So no, 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 I just pay them. Oh, what you want? All right, here it is. What would you do with $30,000 in your real estate business? I'm gonna try out and show it, Walter. I mean, I just continue to make it grow by wholesaling, flipping, you know, whatever I'm doing. I mean, yeah. I mean, thirty thousand dollars. You still got to work. So I would wholesale. Ideally, just continue wholesaling. You feel comfortable with a rehab? Then rehab. You know, but I leverage. I don't use a lot of my own money. So, okay, here's the site: bpophotoflow.com. Um, uh, bpophotoflow.com. They'll go out there and take pictures of properties if you're virtual. Again, I don't do anything virtual, but they will go out there and take pictures of properties. So can I close a deal at 17 and get paid for it? Yes, you can. All right. Here's the situation. You can close a deal and get paid for it. However, at 17, legally, you can't sign the contract. There's a difference between contract law and the actual law, right? If you violate contract law, you have to go take that person to court and go after uh, civil penalties, right? So, like, if you sign a contract that ended up in court, what's going to happen, Kurt, is that contract is no good because you are not old enough to sign it. But you can't get paid for it because they'll, 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 the attorney will close it out. You do an assignment, you close out, you get your check. Because when you close out a, a assignment, you don't you don't even need to show up. You just they just call you when the check is ready. You know, so yeah, you don't even need to show up or whatever. Um, at most, they might ask for your you do your name, your social, or your EIN number or something. At most, so that they can report it on taxes. But no, you can get paid. You'll get paid just that the, legally the contract is not. Valid. So let's say a seller signs your contract and signs somebody else's. You can't take them to court because you're underage, but you can still get paid, bro. So don't let that stop you. So, you know, that deal go through, bro. That deal yours, bro. And you made five, ten, fifteen thousand, and you keep going, Kurt, bro. So, you know, we might all be working for you one day. So, you know, you're young and just young and hungry. Use that energy for the right situation. If this is a good time to get into wholesaling. I heard in private group, buying a house may be risky right now because of all the coming foreclosures. 
Set to hit the market soon. Mr. Jackson, great question. I'm buying houses right now. Um, a good deal is a good deal. You only lose money if you sell in the down market. The stuff that I'm, I do have one we had. I plan, hopefully we'll be in the market in August. Hopefully. I do have one. Um, all the deals I have now, everything else, all the other houses I don't plan to sell in the next few years. So to me, prices going down don't mean anything. You know, so um, does it work for me as a rental? Oh, I get cash flow from it? Well, then what's there to talk about? Let's do it. So, yeah. That's a good question. How, do, how long do you hold vacant land? And please, guys, let's cut out the question so we can get off this joint. I got to cut this joint off soon. How long do you hold vacant land? It just depends on the land. I got land I've been holding for years. I got some land that I'll hold it for a year and then sell it because I know it's in the hot area or that entity might need some money, one of my long-term entities. So it all depends, bro. On I, I know my strategy going in. The lands that the, the last that I sold um on the sh on the short term, my short term is you know, like if I'm my I, I do short term flips under a year in my uh retirement account, but the stuff that I'm holding, I, I that I sold after a year. I knew I just held it for tax tax reasons. Like, yo, I want to pay the le the, le the least amount of tax. I want to pay long term capital gains instead of um, short term. So yeah. Uh, Harry Marsh uh, in North Carolina. Also, Derek Gray's in North Carolina, too. But Harry Marsh, yes. Yusuf asks, um, have you bought any distressed asset portfolios with private funds? Uh, I never bought a portfolio. Never done that um, distressed asset from those REI guys, REO guys. Um, the ones I see going around now are not even a good deal. But... And even to look at those things, man, you got to be a player. They don't send those to everybody. They got to know you a player. You know, you got middlemen guys who, man, they be so far away from the asset manager, it doesn't even make sense. But, yeah, I, I, I have never bought a whole portfolio from an REI manager. REO -E manager, I'm sorry. I mean, um, things are still moving if it's a good deal. Some people are just being more cautious than others. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so as some people are just being more cautious than others. So it's still a good, it's always going to be a good time to wholesale. You got a good deal, it's going to sell, no matter the market. If you got a good deal in any climate, any market, you can make money. So, yes. So with that being said, guys, make sure y'all go to Wholesaling with the Duru, the Facebook group. Hit me up, IG, Real Estate Duru. Um, your questions in the Facebook group, also with the Duru. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, Real Estate Duru. Thank you for joining me. Um, hope to see you guys next week. All right. Peace.